filming. Oh, sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I posted. Yo, I I need to work on accountability and also consistency because I be saying I'm gonna make a YouTube video, like I'm gonna post a YouTube video and I never post it. I'll edit it and everything and it will just sit on my computer. So I'm gonna be better about, you know, actually posting now. And plus I got a new camera. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the quality is Okay, thank you so much, Bay, because I got this for Valentine's Day. I was so happy because now I have literally no excuse on, you know, not making videos. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what y'all used to for my channel. I've been, I've been doing a little bit of different videos um, when I do post, but today's gonna be a haul. And y'all, this haul, I've had this these packages in my house for like almost a month now. I'm gonna say I'm gonna make a haul video, I'm gonna make a haul video, and I have not made it. So today's the day that we're making the haul video. So this video is probably gonna be either two or three parts because it's so much stuff. It's literally over, $2,500 worth of stuff probably. Um, actually, I lied. Including the perfumes that I bought is probably 3,500. Let's say, let's add a thousand because I bought a lot of perfumes in the past um, few weeks. So I'm gonna talk about the perfumes and um, I'm gonna show as much clothing as I can in the first part and then the second part will be up shortly after the first part is uploaded. So let's get into it. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your favorite piece or fragrance or shoe um, was from the haul. I would love to hear from you guys. And also let me know if you guys want to see um, a fragrance uh, kind of video, like where I talk about my favorite scents. And yeah, what's in my collection, because I have a pretty big collection, or a pretty sizable collection, I would say. Um, I love perfume so much, so I could do a video on perfumes. Um, so yeah, and if you guys want to know where I got this hair, this hair, let me plug my good sis, you know, sat. So this hair is from a company called Wigs Galore, which is my cousin. Um, raw Indian hair. Listen, guys, this hair, I have no product in this hair. Look at it. Are you seeing this? Look at the ends. Like, it's super thick and it does not tangle. This is four bundles of 24 inch hair. I'm running my hands through it. Are you seeing this? Like, don't play with her. Look at the back. Like, baby, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Or am I, am I the only one? Okay. So don't play with my good sis Inosa. Wigs galore. I'm gonna link her Instagram um, in in the description so that you guys can purchase hair from her if you guys want to. This is a unit. Like I said, four bundles of 24 inches and a 20 inch closure. And I'm loving it. Like, I love me some bone straight, girl. This is definitely bone straight. So yeah, so let's get into the fragrances that I purchased. I'm not gonna really go into depth. I'm just gonna tell you the ones that I purchased. I'm gonna tell you my top three favorite fragrances out of all the ones that I purchased. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, um, you know that I have been talking about fragrances a lot in the past few weeks because I love fragrances so much and I've just been adding a lot to my collection lately. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go ahead and follow me right here. Yeah, um, go ahead and follow me, I'll wait. Okay, I hope you followed me. So I recently added about nine fragrances to my collection, and these are the ones that I added. I added a Tresor, I think that's how you pronounce it, Tresor by Lancome, but this is the 
Lou de Parfum Caress. So I like the scent. The scent is actually pretty um, nice. Um, it has vanilla in it. And lately I've been liking scents with vanilla, which is actually pretty weird because I don't like sweet scents at all. Like, I don't like, I'm a musk, sandalwood, cedarwood, um, oud type of girl. And lately I've been liking stuff that has vanilla in it. So um, I like this one, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a nice um, addition to my collection. I added Baccarat. I'm oh, sorry, Bakra, Rook, Rook. Oh my God. Okay, Bakra, uh, Rogue, 540. Y'all, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you. This scent really doesn't do it for me. I got this as a gift from my Bay. Um, thank you, Bay. I'm so grateful. This smells like bleach <laughs> to me. It smells like bleach. But when I put it on. Um, people seem to like it a lot on me. Um, they always say it smells really nice, so, I mean, but to me, it, I don't know, it doesn't really do it for me. So, this is by MFK, Mason, Francis, Kirk, Dijon, Paris. So yeah, back at, let me see if this will focus. Yeah. It's not a favorite, but it's, I guess it's a nice addition to the collection. People say they like the way I smell when I put this on. So I guess a lot of people like the smell of bleach. <laughs> okay. So this uh, third fragrance that I added is Marc Jacobs Decad- Y'all look at this packaging. Are you joking? This is so cute. Oh my gosh. When I saw this, I was like, bro, the packaging is just, the pa it was packaging for me. This one is um, Marc Jacobs Decadence. This is Divine Decadence So, So I'm not really sure what the difference is between Decadence and Divine Decadence. I know the top note in this one is champagne and you know I'm a wet mommy so I, I appreciate a good champagne note, okay? And that's also very, very unique. This smells, this smells so good. I love it. Like it's like a good, um, it could be an evening, it could be um, daytime, it smells so good. But uh, this one is a parfum um, as opposed to uh, my small one, which is Marc Jacobs Decadence. This is a uh, um, Uso Decadent. This one, it smells similar, but this one is more intense. And this is also a toilet version um, and not parfum, so. This is also like a little cute one. Let me see, let it focus. Yes, this is also cute. And it's it's good every day, you know, light, uh, fresh floral. Another one that I added is another Mason Francis Kirk Dijon. Uh, let's call him MMFK, because at this point I'm twisting my tongue for no reason. MFK Gentle Fluidity, the silver one. Y'all. This right here. Okay, so this one is unisex, but when I say this scent is a head turner, stop playing with me. This is a head turner right here. Like men and women can wear this, but this smells, this smells like that girl. Like this is such a boss, like, fresh like in your face like pow, wow type of scent and I just I love this so much I mean I I've been using it quite a bit I mean it's still pretty full but whenever this is pretty pricey too this one these two this one was about $300 I got this as a gift and this one was also a gift <laughs> they loves me but this is 240 okay um I believe the price point on this one is $240, but this is definitely a must-have for my fresh, my fresh people, my fresh scent girls out there. Super fresh. And it just wow. Another scent that I added is Burberry Touch. Anyway, it says Burberry Touch on it. So this one is um this one's nice. It has vanilla in it, but it's like a woody 
um, a woody type of smell. I like it. It's a good every day. Um, I think it's good for winter or spring. Um, I like it. It's not bad. I wear this sometimes as well. I also picked up this one. Yeah, I was shopping for some home goods at TJ Maxx and I saw this for $20. So I just picked it up because I've been hearing about it anyway. This one is Ari by Ariana Grande. Sweet, cute, um, a good everyday smell. I wouldn't say that it would be like a go-to on my shelf, but it, it doesn't smell bad. It smells actually pretty good. It smells sweet. And like I said, I'm not really a sweet type of person, which is about to make me sound like a hypocrite because y'all. You know what? I'm gonna say this one. Another one that I picked up, Literdit by um, Givenchy. This is that girl. You can see I've used this one a little bit or more than a little bit. Y'all, this smells so good. Like, it's not really that sweet, but it's sweet enough. And this is also a head turner. Y'all, it reminded me of Fresh Laundry. And if you know me, I'm a sucker for like a game type of smell. Like all the air fresheners in my house are game. Um, my laundry detergent, all gain original. This just, I don't know why it reminded me of that, but y'all, this is one of my favorite um, scents. Like I always pretty much reach for this. Um, nowadays, that girl. Last but not least, I added <clears throat> Love by Killian. Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. Guys. This was, this is a 1.7, 1.7 fluid ounce. It was 260 something dollars whenever tax was added, but it is so worth it. If you like sweet perfumes, you're gonna be in love with this. I don't like sweet perfumes. Like I'm, like I said, I'm a cedar, cedar wood, sandalwood, musk oud type of girl like those mysterious type of scents this one i don't know what type of black magic they put in this killian it's no i think it's the it's a marshmallow note in here which is very unique when do you ever really see marshmallow in fragrances it's not childish though it is just amazing and apparently rihanna wears this perfume and people say rihanna smells so good all the time and i can see why if she wears this amazing like so out of all the ones that i have acquired these three would probably be my top three yeah you see my top three um so we have gentle fluidity the silver one leans your dick by Givenchy, and killian love don't be shy for sure if you're gonna add any from what i just told you definitely add those three um yeah so we're gonna move on to clothes okay so i have picked up a bunch of things from fashion nova and zara i just recently got into zara like somebody put me on i'm not gonna say who <coughs> they <coughs> put me on uh, to zara because i used to go into zara and not really find stuff but I went to a Zara in Houston and I found so many cute things that I could literally, like even just essentials, jackets, stuff like that. So I went to the one here in Atlanta and found even more stuff. And I've been a Zara fiend since then. So um, this haul is gonna be a mix of Fashion Nova and Zara for the most part. I got um, dresses, shirts, jackets, pants, skirts, uh, matching sets, and um, also shoes. So I don't know how I'm gonna break it up, but we're just gonna wing it, okay? So here we go. Okay, so this is the first shirt that I got. Um, yellow, you know, puffer shirt. It, um, it zips in the back. I saw the tags and everything because I haven't worn some of them yet, but it zips in the back. Um, I got it in a size medium and just for some specs, I'm 5'10", 
Um, I weigh about 165 and I usually get um, between a small and medium when it comes to Fashion Nova and um, Zara as well. I usually get like medium. So this is a size medium. I feel like I could have got a small. It's like it's a little baggy. Um, I feel like the arms are a little baggy too. I don't know, maybe if I wash it, it might shrink, or I don't know if it's supposed to be an oversize, but I feel like I could still wear it. Um, all, all in all, it's not like horrible. Um, I do feel like my, my, my nipples are coming out a little bit, so I'll have to be pretty careful. But um, I don't, I mean, it's, it's okay, it's not bad. Um, I do like that it zips in the back, that's cute. I like the cover shoulders. So the next things that I got are these faux leather pants um, that have a type of uh, asymmetrical, I guess. They're asymmetrical. Um, I got them in a size medium. They are, um, they're not too snug, but um, they are a bit snug. And um, one thing I will say about these pants is that they are cheaply made. Okay, I've worn these before. Um, I have a picture on my Instagram, but um, the button, this button is broken. Like, look at this. There's like a hole, literally right here, um, because the, this part came out. Ooh. Great. Anyway, so I dropped the button or the little piece that goes in here. But like I said, these pants are low key cheaply made because um, the little button that goes in here, uh, it fell out after the first uh, wear, which I've only worn them one time. And it fell out after the first wear. So, and I tried to take it to an alteration shop. Nobody's able to do it because of the material that um, these pants are made out of. So these pants were like 40 something dollars. That's wasted down the drain. But it is what it is. Um, I mean, I wear them. I can still wear them. I, I gotta find this thing. I just dropped it somewhere. But uh, I wasn't really happy about that. This shirt is in a size medium. I think it's super cute, but it's just a little bit loose around the bust area. I feel like I could have got a small, um, which is crazy. Like I'm 5'10 and I'm wearing smalls, but it's, it's cute. Um, it zips in the back. And it's just like a little like, you know, I think it's like a cute like date, like daytime date or like a brunch fit. Um, I think it's very cute. Like I like I like the detailing on it, um, but it's just a little bit loose up here. So um, yeah. Other than that, um, these pants are super cute. I'm just I'm kind of sort of upset that the button out as I'm looking for it while I'm talking to you guys but yeah these pants are cute and they do give you a little a little you know a little boost but yeah buy at your own discretion because they're not well made and then also um, there's a button here as well and it's like it's already coming like why am I already seeing the thread like I don't know if you guys can see this but you can see like it's hanging by a thread already i just i just got these i just got you and i understand i can be heavy-handed at some times but why why are you already giving up on me so i got this shirt please do not mind me i don't have a bra right now because a lot of my clothes um, i'm not gonna wear a bra in so i just really did not feel like putting on a bra but I got this oversized shirt from Zara. It was $39.95. I don't know, I just liked it. I liked the um, lady on the front and I also liked this little detailing that is on the side right here. I thought that was really cute. Um, and the bows and everything. I also got these jeans. Um, let me see, hope you guys can see. Okay, like I said, I'm 5'10". I got them in a size nine. They are, I wouldn't say that they're high waters, but they're not, low waters either if you feel what i'm saying like if i put on heels with this i feel like my my uh ooh, crack my toes <laughs> if i put on high water or if i put on high heels if i put on heels with this uh pair of jeans i feel like they're gonna be high waters so i wouldn't say that 
they're the best jeans that I've got from Fashion Nova. But then again, Fashion Nova doesn't even have um, long jeans like that for us tall girls. So I guess I'm grateful that they even touched the top of my feet. So yeah, but these are cute. The fit is cute. You know, Fashion Nova always gives you a little something something where you don't get a little something something. But yeah, these, these are definitely cute. I like the little rips in them. Um, yeah. But like I said, if you're a little bit taller, then you might want to be careful. I always try to look at the um, inseam, like what the inseam is on the description. I think this was like 32, so I knew it might be a little, it might be cutting it close, because I usually get 35 um, on the inseam, so it's like, you know, almost touching the ground. All right. So I got this shirt from Forever 21. All right. So I got this shirt from Forever 21, which is crazy because I haven't really shopped at Forever 21 since I graduated college. So um, I just found this cute shirt and I like the color. So I got it and I like it. It's cute. This is in a size medium. Um, I also got these pants from Fashion Nova. These are so cute. They're actually already on my Instagram. I wore them Valentine's Day weekend. Bomb. Um, they give you a little booty, a little boost as well. Like, come on. I'm, come on. I'm giving. Okay. It's it's really giving. Like. So yeah, I like um I like these a lot. These are in a size medium. Now, they're not that long. They're not that long. But I mean when you wear them with heels, who cares? Like they're like a little capri, I guess. Um, you know, I'm five ten, so it is what it is when it comes to the length. <laughs> but yeah, they're super cute, and they're actually comfortable. Like I can, I can, um, you know, it's okay. It's not that easy, but it. I had some from Zara that I couldn't even bend. You know, so it's like you know, once you, you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would definitely say these are, um, I would 10 out of 10 recommend these. These are very cute. And I like the little zipper detailing as well. Super cute. Super cute. Let me see if it can hold something. Okay, it doesn't, it can't really hold anything, but you know, it's, it's just the thought that counts. It's really cute. So it's an oversized um, button down from Zara. Silk. Silk-esque. But um, I personally, um, I always get them oversized because um, I like to wear them, you know, all the way buttoned down, just, you know, with some jeans. Or most of the time, I like to tie it. So it just gives it, like, you know, cute little flair. You know, I usually tie it better than this, but, you know, for video or example's sake. Um, yeah, I got this. I also got it in a cream slash white color. So um, I got it in a size uh, large. So both these are in a size large. Very cute essentials to have. Um, yeah, and you can dress this up or dress this down. Okay, so also got this shirt from Zara. This is in a size medium. And believe it or not, when I saw the shirt on the hanger, I wasn't really in love with it, but something in my mind was like, girl, get the shirt. So I did, and I actually really like it on. So um, it has these adjustable um, drawstrings on the sides, so you can make it as tight. Ooh, you can make it as tight as you want, or um, as loose as you want. And I just really like this color, and I like—I don't know—I like the style. I feel like it's different and um, it's unique. So yeah, y'all definitely gonna see me rocking this. Super cute and um, unique as well. All right. I also got this shirt from Zara. This shirt actually came as a set, but I didn't like the pants. I felt like it was like your real pajama-ish, but I did like the shirt, so I did go ahead and pick the shirt up. This is in a size medium. I like um, the fact that it's fitted around here, and um, it goes all the way around in the back as well. And yeah, I think this is super cute for like a casual, um, I don't know, um, Maybe like a lunch date or something, or just, you know, you wanna be cute during the week or even on the weekend, whatever. Being cute in general, like, is super cute. All right, so I picked up this 
shirt, blouse, I'll call it a blouse. I picked up this blouse from Fashion Nova in a size medium. I actually wore this on Valentine's Day. Like how cute is this blouse, y'all? Like this blouse is everything. It's so cute. Um, I got so many compliments on it. Um, it's actually on my Instagram right now, so go and like the picture. Double tap it and comment and tell me I'm from Beyonce because I do. Um, look at the back, like, y'all, this is everything. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I really, really, really love this. I love the detailing on the hand, like the buttons. I love the ruche effect right here. I also love, um, you know, how it comes how it's strapless as well. But like, it's not falling off your boobs. Like, it's secure, like you feel me? Like, it's not, like your your boobs are not coming out. And I just, this is a 10 out of 10 I would recommend. So I got this, I don't, I don't think I would wear this together, but just for the video's sake, I'm trying to save some time. I got this skirt from uh, Zara. I really, really like it, it's a size medium. And one thing I like about it is that it has um, shorts. Oh, girl, can you see my under? Oh, I thought it was my underwear. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it has shorts on the um, inside. So, you know, even though it's short, you're still covered if you wanna, you know what I mean? Like, if you wanna bust a little. Nobody is seeing nothing, okay? You thought. Oh, okay, you thought. Also, <laughs> got this purple um, bodysuit from uh, Fashion Nova, size medium. I like it, I mean purple, I don't normally have purple things. So I thought, hey, you know, get outside the box and get something purple. I'm not really crazy about it, but it's not ugly. Like it's cute, you know? I could, I could do a little slum slum. I, I definitely wanna wear this combo together. This is giving um, middle school. Um, it's giving seventh grade. It's giving dress cut. Uh, okay. <laughs> I got this uh, bodysuit as well from Fashion Nova. I mean, it's cute. I think it's cute. Um, I don't. I think I was expecting something a little bit more different than this. I mean, but I think it's still cute. I do like the um, ruffles and the detailing. Um, like the pe peplum. Is that what puff sleeves? Let me stop trying to be fancy. I like the puff sleeves and you know the detailing and it goes all the way around so that's cute um i got this skirt oh and it has a cut out in the back how could i forget a cut out in the back so it's giving sexy you know what i mean so and um, this skirt is from zara yeah i love this skirt so much i don't know why i love it so much i would i don't think i would wear this outfit together but um this skirt is so comfortable and it's so cute like Oh my gosh, it's from Zara, it's in a size medium. And like, girl. Okay, okay, hype me, hype me, hype me, hype me, hype me. Ready? You bet, you bet. Okay, yeah, it's super cute. Like, this is definitely giving brunch vibes. So this skirt is from Zara, and it also has shorts underneath. Okay, one thing about Zara is they gonna put some shorts underneath that skirt, girl. So you're always covered. If you wanna hit a, you know what I mean? Like, come on, like, you thought you was gonna see something. You're not gonna see my goodies. Don't do that, uh-uh. It's super cute though, like, I love a good cheetah print. Like, one thing about me, I love a good animal print. And this skirt is giving, like, I don't know why I've been into skirts lately so much, but you see me. Um, okay, so this shirt is from this shirt is from Fashion Nova or this crop top. It's from Fashion Nova. I don't, don't think I'll wear this together, but you know, for the video's sake, we're trying out everything just how we're trying it on. Okay, don't judge me. So yeah, it's cute. It has, um, you know, the little puff sleeves. Y'all, by this time you should know, I love a good puff sleeve. It is what it is. <laughs> 
so yeah it's um it's cute it has like a little puff sleeve also has a, a see-through back Please do not judge me. I really, really, really tried. I tried to button this, but I couldn't. But I got this bodysuit from Fashion Nova. It buttons in the back to create an oval, as you can see. But I can't button it, and I don't have anybody here to help me. So don't judge me. But I, y'all, this bodysuit is so cute. It's on my Instagram. Okay, I was, I was given. I was definitely given. But y'all, I love the polka dot um, detailing on it. Like, and then look at the sleeve. Like, are you joking? Like, this is so freaking cute. I wish it came in more colors, but I probably would buy it again in black because I love black anyway. <laughs> um, I got this skirt off of uh, Fashion Nova 2. And to be honest, I got this skirt and I'm not really feeling it. It does have um, the shorts underneath. They're a little short though, you see my butt cheek kind of hanging out. But uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's okay. I don't know, maybe I haven't found the right thing to wear it with, but um, it, it doesn't really do it for me. Like, it's just okay. Like, I don't know, y'all probably see me wear it later on. Um, I'll find something to wear with it or something. These sleeves are everything. Like, I love the fact that you can see through them. I can still wear a watch. Oh. Bye. Okay, so we reached my favorite part of the segment, which is the dresses, because I love a good dress. And first we have this animal print midi dress that I got in this size. I actually think this is the size small because it's super stretchy and it, like, are y'all seeing this? Hold on. Get out. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Are y'all seeing the body yaddy 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 yaddy? Like, body yaddy 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 yaddy. Let me actually analyze this. Like, are y'all seeing what I'm seeing or am I boosting myself a little bit too much? Because, y'all, this is so cute and it's so comfortable. Like, look at, okay, let's look at the detailing. This is so cute. It's like, it's giving snakeskin, yes, but it's also giving, are y'all seeing my booty? Like, I know I don't got much, but what? No, 10 out of 10 would recommend, and I would go a size down from your regular size because this joint is stretchy. Like, it's super stretchy. Like, I got room. I could, ooh, I could drop a low. I could drop a low. But yeah, I'm in love with this dress. I cannot wait to wear it out. I think um, I also did mention that I got some jackets. Like, look at this jacket, y'all. I got this from Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't know if I said I got this dress from Fashion Nova. This is from Fashion Nova. It's a little see through though. But okay, yeah. So this is from Abercrombie and Fitch, this jacket. Guys, how cute is this? It was like a hundred something dollars, but it was originally 180. I think I got it for I got it for 109, so that wasn't bad. And I needed a brown jacket and the leather, it's vegan leather, so, you know, environmentally conscious, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's definitely super cute. I've worn it out, it's warm, and it's giving, it's giving. What is it giving, y'all? Y'all tell me in the comment section what it's giving, but it's super cute. I love puffer jackets so much. Okay, so I got this orange mini dress. This is cute as well. Um, I got this in a size medium. Um, I like the fact that the sleeves are long. It's cute. Um, I also like the ribbing on it. Let me come up closer. It does have some nice ribbing. Um, it's a little bit short. I do like to wear heels, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like to wear heels and stuff like this, and I just feel like once I put on my heels, it's gonna be giving and yeah, ain't nobody trying to be doing that all night. But it is cute, it is giving, it's giving mini stallion, yeah? Or am I, am I exaggerating? Yeah, it's, it's giving mini stallion, yeah. But yeah, I like this dress, this is cute. Um, I definitely like the color, I like the ribbing. 
and the zipper is an added bonus as well. Okay guys, I think you guys have had enough of me so far. Um, I think I actually did more than half of the haul. So I'm gonna film a uh, part two um, at another time. <laughs> And I will include the rest of the dresses and shoes and the matching sets that I got. So if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know. Um, give me websites that you would like me to shop from because I am using my own money at this point to shop. So yeah, let me know if you guys want more videos like this, um, perfume videos, um, just you know, any thing that you guys want to see, just let me know in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite outfit of part one was because I think I had a few. I think I had a few favorite um, pieces, but yeah, I can't wait to, for you guys to see part two. Um, I don't think I'm going to make a part three anymore. I think part two should just be cool. So yeah, until next time.